everybody, how are you doing? I hope that I find you very well indeed and you're all having a smashing day so far and thank you for popping back and checking out my wee recipe this time or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also this is What's For Tea and I'm Cheryl and I'm just going to be taking you through this classic eating mess recipe it's absolutely divine it's a beautiful combination of strawberries and cream and gooey chewy meringue and with a lovely raspberry sauce i mean it really is the perfect summer dessert well i say summer it's meant to be summer i mean it's the middle of july here and we've had rain and thunder and lightning today can you believe it so i managed to capture a wee bit of that and i've added it in to the middle of this recipe so you'll see exactly what i mean i mean it was terrific rain so yep that's summer in Scotland folks I mean what can you do so yeah like I said classic eating mess very very simple and easy to do the only thing that's a wee bit time consuming is the meringue itself but feel free to buy shop bought you know if you can't be bothered or you don't want to or you don't fancy giving it a go you know you can nip to the shops and buy that you don't have to make it from scratch yourself but I will show you how I do mine because they are super duper easy easy and very inexpensive to make. I mean, if you've got four eggs and you've got a wee bit of sugar, you can knock these up very quickly and very easy. Yep, so let's move on and we'll see what we're going to need. And as usual, all of the ingredients and their weights will be in the description box down below so you don't have to bother writing anything down at this stage you can pop back and check the description box later on so the first thing i've got for you is 250 grams or one cup of caster sugar now some people have asked you know what is caster sugar it's just a very very fine sugar it's just the same as white granulated sugar but just a bit finer so yes i've got 250 grams or one cup of of caster sugar. I've also got 60 grams which is a third of a cup of normal white sugar. I've got 300 grams of raspberries. I've got 500 mils or two cups of double cream. I've got 400 grams or 14 ounces of fresh strawberries. I've got four egg whites and half a teaspoon of flavouring. Now I'm going to be popping a wee bit of custard flavouring into my meringue just to give it a wee bit of oomph. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. That's completely optional or if you don't like the taste of you know custard you could try something like vanilla or strawberry or just leave them plain if you like I just like to add a wee bit of flavouring into my meringue because the cream you know the, the actual cream itself is going to be quite plain so I just like to add a wee bit of contrast in flavour so yeah so let's move on and we'll see what's next so this is the flavouring that I'm using and you only need, if you're using it, about half a teaspoon. You don't need a lot. It's just for a wee bit of a, a hint of flavour. And these are the raspberries that I'm using. And these are my strawberries. Now all you've got to do is sort of cut, wash them and then cut them into bite size pieces. Make sure you take the green bits off the top, obviously. <laughs> these are ideal. But you can of course do them any size you like. So first thing we're going to do is move over to the stove and get your pan onto a medium heat. We're going to make our raspberry sauce first. So pop in your raspberries and then 60 grams of your white sugar. I just want to give these a good stir. And these will break down really quickly because they're so soft. And leave them simmering for about 10 minutes. You'll have something that looks like this. Now it's not really picking up in camera, but this is a beautiful, vibrant red colour. And it smells incredible. So you want to grab yourself a bowl and then a sieve. And you just want to drain that through your sieve. And any seeds and pulp that are left in your sieve, you can just discard. You're just looking for a lovely, smooth sauce without all the wee bits in it. Sorry for the steam. I kept trying to blow the steam out of the way, but it kept coming back. <laughs> ah, dear. Professional or what, eh? Just actually a wee fan or something at the side there. So you'll be left with this. This is your sauce. You just want to set that to the side and let it cool. By the time you're ready for it, this will be nice and cool. And I just thought I'd show you the rain. Listen to this. I 
absolutely crazy. Oof. We're now going to move on to our meringue. Make sure your bowl is absolutely spotless. Ideally, you'd be using a glass or stainless steel bowl. But if you're using a plastic one, just make sure it's absolutely squeaking clean. So first of all, you want to add your egg whites. So that's four egg whites. And you want to whisk this until it's nice and foamy and throthy. It'll take about four or five minutes. And this is ideal. So you're looking for this and now you're going to start adding your sugar. So 250 grams of caster sugar. You just want to add this in in stages. And you're just looking to whisk this until it forms some nice stiff peaks. That when turned upside down, it doesn't come spilling out all over the place. It should be nice and stiff. So just add your sugar in about four or five stages. You don't want to just dump it all in at the one time. And when you're just about there, you can add in your flavouring if you're using it. Like I said, I'm just using a wee dash of custard flavouring. And this is mine done. Should be lovely and glossy and smooth and standing up in stiff peaks just like this. Then you want to grab yourself a baking tray and pop on a bit of uh, baking paper or parchment paper and you just want to spoon out some wee blobs of your meringue mixture onto your baking parchment. Or you could just do this in one sheet if you like. You don't have to do wee blobs. I mean, it's going to get broken up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I've got a wee bit left, but I'm just going to discard that. So I don't need any more. So you want to pop this into your, your oven for between 25 and 35 minutes on a very, very low heat. Mine's is gas mark 2. And the other temperatures are on the screen for you to see. I think it's 150 C or 300 F. So while we're waiting, we're going to go on and do our cream. So into another bowl, you want to pop 500 ml of double cream. That's also known as heavy cream. And you just want to whip this until it's nice and thick, but not too stiff. You know, you still want to be able to mix this round so you don't want it like concrete. So this is ideal. When it's dropping off your spoon quite easily, that's ideal. So now we've got our cream, we've got our strawberries and we've got our raspberry sauce. We're just waiting on the meringues. And I've got a couple of seconds left. Mine's took 25 minutes. And I, I like to pull mine out just before they're done because I like the sort of gooey, sort of caramel, caramel consistency you get that way. Oh, they're lovely and oh, they're absolutely delicious. Ideal. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect because they're going to be getting, you know, they're going to be getting thrown in to your cream anyway. So get your cream back and you just want to go through it with a spoon just to sort of soften it up again because it's been sitting a wee while. Just to loosen your cream up and just pop your strawberries in. I like to add half of mine first, give it a stir and then pop the other half in. It's super easy, really is, and absolutely delicious. You just want to crumble in as many meringues as you like. As you can see, I'll just show you, these are lovely and chewy in the centre. Ugh, oh, lovely. Such a lovely texture contrast with the cream. You get a wee bit of that in your mouth and you get a nice wee chew. So just pop in as many meringues as you like. You don't need to use them all. I actually used all of mine because we like the crunch. So you just want to either pop this in the fridge. I wouldn't keep it in there too long. It's best served straight away because obviously your meringue will dissolve. So you want to pop it into a bowl and top it off with your lovely raspberry sauce. And that's that done. Like I said, super duper simple. And if you weren't making your own meringues, you know, it'd be even quicker. But I just like, I, I think, I don't think there's anything like 
homemade meringue, unless you're getting them from a baker. But I mean, if you're getting them from a large supermarket, they tend to be very dry and light and full of air, and there isn't really much texture to them at all. So I just prefer to make my own. Like I said, they're very inexpensive to make, and they don't really take very long. Half an hour, 40 minutes in the oven, and you've got some beautiful homemade fresh meringues. And you also get that wee sense of achievement as well, I think, knowing that you've made the whole thing from start to finish. So that was it. That was my wee uh, eating, I nearly forgot what it was there, <laughs> my eating mess recipe. And like I said, thank you very much for popping over and checking it out. I really do appreciate it. So until I see you next, which is going to be, uh, let me think, yep, the broccoli and stilton soup will be next. And then after that is obviously going to be meals of the week. So hopefully I'll see you back for either the wee soup recipe, which is going to be tomorrow, or the meals of the week is going to be, it's usually Sunday, but it might be Monday. So until I see you guys, mind to take care of yourselves. And from our kitchen in Scotland to wherever you are in the world, lots of love and bye for now. Bye now.